Die too young. Hundred miles per hour, my smash is a good die young. It's a good die young. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long drive, road all on my own. I'ma be the brakes from the name of the stone. From the name of the stone. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back home. From the name of the stone. What's up guys, we're back at the shop today and I'm bringing you another windshield install. Today we're going to be installing the windshield on a C8. This is my first C8, but it doesn't look too much different from the idea of the C6s as far as the pan is a little bit different and then the lane departure is a little bit different. This one has lane departure, pretty sure they all do on the C8s, but yeah, we're fixing to knock this thing out. Our first step is, always first step, check your glass. Glass is good, it's not scratched, primed, ready to go. So the car, the first step is to remove the T-top, get it out the way, and then I'll probably go jump to the pan, get the whole cow pan off. Now, T-top, mirror, pan. Then this one has the side trims, kind of like the C6-ish, and other cars that have side trims. So I got to get that off, it's probably screwed behind the weather strip for the glass. To remove the T-tops, just kind of traditional. Two brackets on the front, one bracket in the back. So push that, pull these out, T-tops loose. I guess you call it convertible top, target top, whatever you want to call it. And then it goes in the trunk. So as far as the little cover for the lane departure, they're all kind of generic. Uh, most of the times when I don't know how one comes off, I'll start at the top corner and just pull on it a little bit, see? So like that side already snapped down. Cause like say like a Toyota Camry on the bottom of these covers, they have like little slides. So you go up, then snap the top. So the top is the best spot to start in my opinion. And just pop it off. That's off of there. It's just four clips. That's all you're trying to get. And actually, all this one has is a rain sensor. So, we're fixing to just unclip this little metal bracket right here. And then we go pull the rain sensor, and then this spot will be done, and we'll move to the cow pan. So, on the rain sensor, it's just got this metal little tab. You pull this, each tabs out on the side. That one. That one. So now we're in the front. All we gotta do is pull these wiper covers, or the bolt covers, get that off. I'm gonna grab my tool for that, but pull those, pull the wipers, and then for this cow pan, it's underneath this main piece of plastic. It goes all the way across. So we're probably gonna have to start on this one, pull those on both sides, and then pull this big center piece, and then we can pull the cow pan out. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock all that out. Forgot about the side trim, so gotta get that. So I'll pull it up and then down and out. And then you got some like T15 screws all right there. There's an eight millimeter, but that's holding the sub, the sub uh, bracket. I guess that's like, I don't know what you call it. It's like the eight pillar and it holds the weather strip. But you can leave that, so all we gotta do is take out like uh, five Torx bits and then we can pull these off. So 
so there might be something up top yep it's it's inside the gasket for the t-top so all you gotta do is lift that little flap up and that corner should be yep that's it so you got that screw up top and the ones behind the weather seal and this should slide out Uh, there's one way up that way down there. It's right behind the fender So if you don't have one of these you might need them sometimes they work good Lose your screw. All right, now nah, it's loose. Kind of drop the back of it down and slide it out. Make sure you sit it in a safe place because it's painted. Don't scratch painted. Let's see how now that you got that off. Glass is pretty open. So all we gotta do is I'm gonna use my pool knife around the top and the two sides. Cut the bottom and it's gonna be out. Then we just gotta clean the glue up and put it back together. Prime it, all that stuff. So now, once we're at this point, all I left is a strip of glue and a dash that needs to be cleaned. So we're gonna scrape the glue with a straight edge on a handle, get all of it off, and then we're gonna wipe it down, the pinch weld, prime it, and then I'm gonna clean the dash, and then the car will be ready for the new glass. You got a primer on there. Pinch welds all cleaned up, looking good. Dash is nice and fresh, like it's never happened. One piece that we do need to get off the old glass, I usually take them off uh, most of the time on the car, when the glass is still in the car. But this one is so tight to the, like the headliner. We're gonna get it off now. Don't mind my mess back here. So what it is, it's just attached to these four metal dowel pins. And it's got these two little plastic retainers. There's one, you can just kind of lift it up with your finger. Get it past that dowel pin, same thing, lift it up. Then it comes right off. And we'll go ahead and install this on the new glass right now. So you take it, there's your four dowel pins. Sit it over the dowel pins, and lock it in place. Sometimes the dowel pins aren't lined right on the aftermarket glasses. So I'm about to make it work real quick. It just needs some force on both sides evenly and it'll snap right on. So I'm gonna snap that on real quick. Now it's on, your pins are locked on both corners. Looking good, it's ready to go in the car.
Then we're just gonna take our fiber stick, smooth our adjoining areas. Up and over. You gotta go underneath the fenders first on this one for sure. Wait, slow down. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me see where we're at. Pull it your way a little bit. A little bit more. Uh, stay right there. That's good, bro. Let's see. Right at the start of the hole for the bolt. That's right there. Oh yeah, that's perfect. All right, so the glass is in. The next step is to start putting everything that we took off back on. Uh, on these types of moldings, there's an insert on them to keep the channel just straight and chipping and stuff. So I gotta get that out. I usually use a small hook tool, get the corner started, or if I can, just slide it out to where it has some hanging out and then I can just grab it and pull it. Get that out, put the camera, uh, the lane, uh, the rain sensor back on, side trims, cow pan, and we're done. Gotta clean it up. So the plastic cover is kinda hard on this car. Uh, it's got two dowel pins that go into the headliner on these corners at the glass. And then the top clips for it go into the headliner right here. And all the headliner really wants to do is flex and there's no way to hold it down while you push that up. So I just pushed right on the clip pretty hard to that way it would seat all the way back into the headliner. But other than that, it's not too bad. You just can't be scared to push on it. That's it for this video, I hope y'all enjoyed. If so, hit the like subscribe button and let me know down in the comments if y'all like the windshield content because I can definitely produce more. Y'all stick around for the next couple days. We're gonna be dropping our brand and getting that rolling for Clutch Kickers Round 2. We're going to Clutch Kickers Round 2, then we're going to the Five Flags event on like July 16th at, uh, it's the Street Kings event. So I hope to see y'all there. If so, come check it out. Stop by the booth. We're gonna have a booth, hopefully by Clutch Kickers, round two, 20 by 10. I'm excited. So I'll see y'all there. If not, see y'all in the next video. Take it easy.